Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Kirby and the Forgotten Land on the Nintendo Switch. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic die. Now, in the previous video, things went very, very well because I knew exactly what to do. So we got all of the challenges done. We found all of the Waddle Dees except for one hidden Waddle Dee. And we also defeated the second boss. Didn't die. Didn't really take too much damage. If you want to get through the second, the third boss fight, I should say, relatively easy. Just make sure you've got the sword ability with the upgrade that gives you the bigger shield. It removes your ability to dodge, but you can block basically every single attack that the uh, boss does, and you can finish it without taking any damage. Just make sure the boss doesn't get behind you, because I think you are still vulnerable from behind, if the shield works the same as it does for the bosses. But let's get straight into things. Now, um, I don't know if I need to go back to Waddle D Tan. I think we've done everything that we need to do, so I think we're going to head straight over to area number four. And we're going to jump into the first cold, wintry level. Northeast, North, what is it? Northeast Frost Street. Lovely. And I think I 100%ed this challenge, maybe. Off camera, I can't remember. But let's get straight into it. I probably should have gone back to Waddle D Tan and changed my, uh... Oh, look at this! It's like a combination of a few different cities. Lovely. This is beautiful, but can you hear the music? Beautiful. I better use my tomato, actually, as I'm going to end up dead. <laughs> Don't want to end up dying. So far, we've done this entire playthrough without dying. And I plan on finishing this game. Oh, actually. Oh, no, I wanted him. Well, I didn't want him. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the only challenge I fouled. I missed one of these. There's three of these sculpt, four of these sculptures you need to break, and I missed uh, one of them. So if you guys and girls know where it is, let me know in the comments. I, I might find it on camera because you guys and girls are genuine, genuinely good luck for me. Sometimes you're bad luck though, like when I accidentally delete my video camera footage. <laughs> then, then I'm just gonna blame you guys and girls. It's your fault. I don't know if I should keep this ability or not. Oh, there we go. We've got a uh, shooter guy over there. Look at that. A bubblegum ice cream. There you go, Wolf Wolf. That's in the comment section below because this is a very important question. Let me know your favourite flavour of ice cream. Like when you go to the seaside and stuff and, you know, you go to those uh, little ice cream shops that have got, like, flipping 40 or so different flavours. Let me know what your favourite flavour is. I think mine might be... I do like the gen generic vanilla, especially if it's a good vanilla. But I think um, I think it might be bubblegum, maybe. But then it depends on the bubblegum, because sometimes it tastes a little bit... If, as long as it tastes like a nice, natural sort of bubblegum flavour and not too artificial. Sometimes it tastes very artificial. I think it probably is uh, bubblegum, actually. But I do like the uh, the plain vanilla. I just like vanilla in ice cream. I don't like vanilla in anything else, really. Sometimes it can be very like, eh. But when it comes to ice cream, yeah, vanilla's, vanilla's some quality. Look at that. Nice loaf of delicious bread. Man, I could eat French bread. For, for forever. French stick. Forever. Sound like I said French dick then, didn't it? I didn't say French dick. I'm not eating no French dick. I do not swing that way, Wolf Morvets. Any of you French people that might be watching me right now that are into that kind of stuff, they'll probably thought to yourself, hey, 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 hey. Be Wolf likes the old French dick. I did not say that. So do not get your hopes up. No way in hell. No way. <laughs> Should have just said forget. There we go, blow that up over there. I think this is where you find the first Waddle D, possibly.
Oh sweet, they're the level 2 ones, didn't they, if they've got like the little green cap. Nice, I thought you could only get those from a vending machine. Just make sure you don't use all of your uh, ammo, because you've got to break open this bit over here. We can break these snowballs, can't we? Yes, we can. I don't know if I've mentioned it, mentioned this to you guys and girls, but... Um, oh, it's so good to see the Waddle Dees again. <laughs> we didn't see them in the previous video, because I had to replay the levels, as you all know, if you saw the uh, previous level, uh, previous video. So it's good to see the Waddle Dees again. But it's something I don't think I've mentioned, but... Um, Q Games, the developers of um, Pixel Junk and also the Tomorrow Children, they recently managed to reacquire the IP because Sony always owns their IPs. If you make an exclusive game for them, Sony will own the IP. I think they started doing that after they lost access to Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, just so it never happened again. So Sony always uh, keep, you know, full ownership of the uh, IPs that are exclusive, and. Uh, Recently, Q Games somehow managed to get Sony to sell them, or give them, I think. I don't even think it was a selling, I think it was just giving. Managed to get Q Games to give them the rights to the Tomorrow Children. And they're now planning on re-releasing it. And you guys and girls know, Tomorrow Children was one of the, uh, probably one of my most successful games early on on this channel. Probably the uh, game that actually started getting me a little bit of viewership. So, um, yeah, that's, that's some good news. If they bring it back with a lot of new stuff and hopefully a lot more content, because it really lacked content then yeah, we're gonna have that bad boy game to play again soon. Which oh, I love that game, it's, it's very chill. Very chill, it's a bit like Lake, just calm. Except when the uh, Isvergs, or whatever they were called, the uh, monsters started attacking. <laughs> then it wasn't very chill at all. Then it was a bit of a nightmare, especially if there wasn't no ammo in the guns. I think we might have already have missed a snow sculpture, to be completely honest. If I've missed any, let me know in the comments where it was. Because I think I'm basically going to end up with the same result as I did off camera. Bloody hell, good job. <laughs> Bloody hell, good job we had a gun. But the challenges, I think they're very easy. Like, I think uh, destroy the snow sculptures, four of them. Now, I think the third one that we're going to find is coming up ahead. Or maybe the second one, who knows. But uh, the other one is to reach the clock, which is right at the end of the level. So that's two of the challenges. I don't know what the third one was. I think it was another easy one. <laughs> Lovely. D I didn't bother with the precise aiming. I just shot a shit ton of bullets to make sure I hit it. Lovely. Is this number two now? Yep, number two. That's what I hope for the most. I just hope that we find all of the hidden Waddle Dees. I don't like leaving any behind. The challenges, yeah, it's good to do them, but most importantly, I want to rescue all of the hidden Waddle Dees. It's all like when you play Oddworld, uh, Abe's Odyssey and Abe's Exodus. You want to find all the Mudakans and uh, Munch's Odyssey. I know one of the sculptures is down here. Yep, I'm, I'm assuming that that's probably the... F third one. But we've missed one somewhere, I'm assuming. What are you doing, Kirby? I love this gun. It's so good for ranged combat. And I love the bloody music as well. That's got, oh look at that, that's not very, that's not very hidden is it? You can very clearly see that. I suppose it's, I suppose you could miss it if you're not looking over in that area and you're focusing on that door. I suppose it is pretty easy to miss. No! Come back little Waddle Dee! There we go. bit. There's one more Waddle Dee to find. There's got to be a challenge I've missed somewhere. I wonder what... Hmm. Ouch. Oh, 
Watch out, watch out, watch out. Nearly took a bomb to the face then. As you can see, we can break open this wall right here. I suppose I should be looking. I see another snow sculpture up there. I think that might be the final one. So we've definitely missed one somewhere. I say we, I've definitely missed one. And we need to bring that set of stairs down here. Let me quickly have a look down here and make sure it isn't round here somewhere. Yeah, we've definitely missed it. It was probably before we got the uh, the second one. It was probably before that somewhere. Probably in the area where I was using the uh, vending machine. I reckon it was probably around there. I probably just walked straight past it like an idiot. <laughs> oh, well, sorry about all more bets. I like to 100% these levels, but sometimes you just don't. Look how we're shimmering our little ass. Ah. And what did you two appear for? Come on. <laughs> there we go. And this is the final hidden Waddle Dee in this level. Which is probably what you guys and girls might want to find the most anyway. Because challenges, the game tells you about the challenges every time you finish the level. So you're going to eventually know the challenges anyway. I suppose, you know, finding stuff like hidden sculptures could be uh, pretty useful for these videos. But I think the, the hidden Waddle Dees might be what people want to know the location of the most. Especially the younger people that might be watching this. Mind you, I don't get many kids to watch. My demographic is basically around my age. Basically 25 to uh, 45, that's what most of my viewers' ages are. Right, so one of ch the other challenge, I'm not sure what one we've missed. I feel like I've missed a challenge somewhere. Don't know how. <laughs> but um, you need to fly over to that clock tower that looks like Big Ben. So yeah, don't touch the Waddle Dees yet. Make sure you come over to this clock tower. I thought maybe the last uh, sculpture would have been over here, but it's, I don't think it is. Just a random challenge. It's, it's, it's just such a random challenge, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Well, we got we got most things done. I think we've missed a challenge, though, haven't we? So what what did we miss? Find the side alley. Oh, I know where that is as well. It's right near the start of the level. Oh, for, how, did, how did I miss that? Oh, gee, look at that. It's probably a good thing they don't sell those things in shops because I would spend my money on them. Mind you, unboxings do relatively well on this channel. It's the only thing I can upload where I know I'll get at least 100 views, all the way up to thousands, and in one case, millions. So, eh, I should do more unboxings, but it's such a, it's such a gamble, because you've got to spend money, and they don't always get the views. Well, they, they never get the views needed to recoup the money I spent. Because if I spend like 20 quid on a collectible, I need to get 20,000 views at least, and I won't get 20,000 views, I'll get 100. So I don't get my money back, because it's a bad investment. But it's all, that's what I'm saying, it's a gamble. Sometimes you upload them and you get a million views and you get all your money back and profit. So, you know. Lovely. This one's called Chain Bomb. I'm, I'm supposed you need to like chain the bombs together, make that little chain, but I don't do it. I just blow the shit out of everybody. <laughs> just make sure you use the current to your advantage. I think you've got to do it in a minute 30, I think it said. Yeah. 
just want to keep chucking them though, because the more uh, bombs you have in the water, as soon as the enemies appear, you might immediately just kill them. Oh shit, I didn't mean to jump in. <laughs> I was watching my bombs. I don't, I don't think we're going to do this in time. I've got like maybe 30 seconds left. Less than 30 seconds. Will you stop fooling in the water, Kirby? Jesus! I look at one in the middle causing problems. Yeah, we definitely didn't get this done in time. <laughs> definitely didn't. Probably because I kept fooling in the water like a twat. But anyway, all, all, all I really care about in these levels is um, getting the star. Just so I can upgrade my abilities. Because if we don't upgrade, yeah, yeah that was terrible. I think I did it off camera. I just really ballsed it up. I kept falling in the water. I think one level is actually really good in this area. It won't be in this video. It'll be in the next video. But there is one level that's really, really good. I think it's that level over there where the bridge is. Very cool level. I think this one we can do. It's one of those ones where you've just got to blast through the level. Oh no, you need to use your spikiness things to pick up enemies and then chuck them at other enemies. We should be able to do this one, I reckon. I think. Yeah, you got to chuck stuff. Because you can't get the other enemies that are, like, far away. So you've got to pick up enemies and lob them. Or pick up crates and stuff like that. A minute 20, I reckon we can do it. There's a lot more enemies than I thought. Just make sure when you let go of the B button and you remove your uh, porcupine ability, you're facing in the direction that you want to throw the stuff. Bloody hell, man. We threw like 10 tons of enemies at him. I suppose it is good to get some extra coins anyway, because there's so many different things you can spend money on back in Waddle D Tan. You know, you've got the little power. Actually, I might be able to go back to Waddle D Tan now. Did, did Elf, Elflin tell me to go back to Waddle D Tan? It might be after we do this level. Have we got enough time? Uh, we might do. Metro on ice. This one, I don't think so. Uh, this, this one ain't too long, I don't think. But you need to... Um, I think the challenges in this level are to stand on two trains for some random reason. That's one of the challenges. Uh, I think you need to find two hidden rooms, possibly. And I think the other one was just something random, like you'll just get it naturally. I don't think you'll miss it. Possibly. I don't know if we'll finish this level today. Because I thought it was going to be something like, don't fall in the water. Because <laughs> you've got so much ice everywhere, I thought, oh, maybe I can't fall. But no, it isn't anything like that. It's good to have a gun in this level, shoot all of the enemies far away so then you ain't got to worry about them attacking you when you get close to them. Lovely, I've got myself some donuts. 
talking about like cute games and stuff whilst I'm playing Kirby. Recently, well, I don't know when you're watching this video, probably about a week after it was announced, but they announced uh, some sort of Disney game. I think it's going to be like, uh, I don't know if it's going to be like The Sims or Animal Crossing or something, but it's, it's this Disney game. The visuals in it are beautiful, but yeah, it looks pretty damn good actually. I mean, I'm not very big on Disney, so uh, it's not something I would play, but yeah, it looked, it looked pretty damn cute. So if any of you have got kids out there, or if any of you are just a big fan of Disney, because Disney is for everyone, not just for kids. Then uh, yeah, check it out. I can't remember what it was called. If you just search a Disney game or something, it'll probably be one of the top results because it's a, a new a new trailer. So yeah, just search do Disney game. But I think it's got like Dream something. It looks very flipping good. Visually, it's beautiful. Though, I will say that. But I think it's going to be a free to play game, which I'm not a fan of them because they're always naff. Very rarely free-to-play games are good. I suppose you could say Fortnite is good, I guess. Even if you're not a fan of Fortnite, it's still a good game, you know. There's no point talking shit just because you're not a fan. <laughs> Even Rocket League is technically a free-to-play game now, isn't it? And that's a very good game, Rocket League. But that was one of the trains that I just stood on then. you got to stand on two of them for a challenge. No idea why. Don't know why that would be a challenge, but apparently it is. <laughs> I can't remember if I 100 percent at this one. But you can see the other uh, train coming up in a minute. We haven't picked up any Waddle Dees yet, have we? I bet I've missed any Waddle Dees. I'll be livid. <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to bring this. Do we just pick up a, uh, a steak dinner or something? There you go. That's one challenge done. Just a bit of a ran random challenge, but you know, never mind. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Flipper reminds me of Crash Bandicoot 2. The flipping icy levels. Especially that bit in Crash Bandicoot 2 when you've got to try and jump on those uh, steel crates to reach the other crates and it's all covered in ice. So you keep sliding around annoyingly. Ah, yeah, we've got to hit these. I think this might... Hopefully this is the first Waddle D. Hopefully we ain't missed any. Okay, good. Here's the first one. This must be a pretty big level, then. Oh, no, no, no. no. Don't, don't want to leave that behind, do we? Nathan Drake would be livid. God, it really is like Crash 2. Stop! Why has it got to knock your ability off? It's so weird. Oh, nice! Oh, crap, my phone's dinging. <laughs> oh, man, I forgot to put it on silent. Two secret. Yeah, I think the one challenge that I missed in this level was uh, to do with secret passages. Yeah. Hopefully we can find that. And I think I've got all three of the challenges done. Well, except for the one hidden passage. But I'm not sure what the third one was. We've done the subway one. We've done part of the uh, secret passageway. Yeah, I can't remember what the other one was.
that was close. Alright, there we go, look at that. Uh, what's that? Oh, no, it looks like a... I don't know if that's a cup of tea or not. It might be like just like black tea, because there's milk next to it, so maybe they've not added the milk. But that does look like black coffee. If that's coffee, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. But Kirby still picked it up for some reason. What's this? Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. There it is. How the hell did I miss that? Oh, well, we found it. I missed that off camera. <laughs> For definite. And there's an a, a, uh, invincible candy as well. Every time I do this, man, I feel like I'm playing Mario. Flying through the level now, aren't we? I think that you think I'm stupid, mate. You think I'm stupid? <laughs> well, Be Wolf, you did delete your video camera footage. Well, shut up. <laughs> Think. Oh, no, I don't think we can go up there. What's the? What is the final challenge then? Oh, sneaky! Oh, that was a foul. <laughs> Sorry about it, Kirby. I think it might be something to do with over here. Maybe it's to do with this. Okay, well we saved all the Waddle Dees. Yeah, I don't, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the final challenge is. Oh, it might be, oh, it might be this. Yep, there we go. Check inside the shipping container. There we go. 100% then, ain't we? We've 100%ed it. Very nice. Because I always feel like when you do levels like this, one of the challenges will be something like, you know, complete the whole level without touching the uh, frozen water. Because you take damage if you touch that water. And I thought it was going to be something like that, but no, it's not. It's always just something random. I think you'd expect it to be something a bit more challenging. <laughs> but no, it's not challenging. It's just some, something random, like fly over to a clock tower or something like that. Oh, crap. There we go. Lovely. Feels like exactly 30 minutes this episode as well. It's like a little dog with a gun. Man, we found a lot of prizes in this level, didn't we? So I think we can head back to Waddle Dee Tan now, and I think there might be some new, a new, a new building constructed. This one's a bit of a nightmare at the start. It's a flipping lot of wind and stuff. Look at that. Gotta love that, ain't you? Gotta love that beautiful sight. So how many have I rescued total? 
144. I don't know. So once we've done the next level, depending on how many Waddle Dees are in there, we should unlock a new building. Lovely. All right, well, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolfets. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Hopefully the commentary was okay. Should have been a lot better than the previous video where I was in a bad mood because I had to redo all the levels again. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching Wolf Wolfets. Hopefully you're enjoying this game and this video. Like, share and join the pack tonight.